Anna Stolke missing at the rim, taking a minute to get up. So now it's four on five the other way. Taylor is blocked by Clark. She has yet to score in this game. She loves this move. Right to the left for a three. She got it. Yeah. Take a look at this. On the switch here, Theory does a good job early. But boy, when your big switch is out, if you don't get last game, she has the ability to move this offense for Ohio State out. Especially when your five player is one of your best three-point shooters. Again! Oh, man. Cage out of the timeout by Lisa Bluter going to the zone. Again, challenging the three-point shooting of Ohio State. Ricky Harris has answered the call early. Clark already has a couple. Make it three. To go, and then Caitlin Clark on the other side. That left spot. And Sheldon from the corner, just off. And Iowa loves to run in transition. Caitlin Clark will find you. Molly Davis. And one opportunity. Couldn't see a thing, Zora. So how <laughs> Caitlin Clark saw that pass over McMahon and Green and all the defensive attention over the top, I don't... It showed on that possession. They get nothing. And you have got to get back on defense if you're playing Iowa. Just Stokey slipping. And then here, another pass over the top. Stokey, I understand she used to be a track runner, and you can see it coming. Brittany Griner in that top five. That was 2012, so Clark was, what, 10 years old? I know her birthday is tomorrow. Very spot, and that's what the zone opens up. You have to recognize some of the weak points in the zone. Caitlin Clark getting to the basket at will these last few times. A little Grinch attitude, you know? Very much so, in all the right ways. Yeah. Clark thought about that three, got it to Davis. The runner's good. Celeste Taylor will stay on the floor. Like I mentioned, Kevin McGuff trusts his players to stay in through it. The handoff to Clark. She's eyeing it. Puts it in. That's what I want to see Ohio State do. Attack off of your defense. Get out and run. There's so much opportunity in transition. Caitlin Clark needs no space. Shakova got back on defense after scoring. Little screen there by Martin. Cody McMahon again. You can get there, but you got to be there before Caitlin Clark gets in our shooting mode. From the Buckeyes that we didn't see in the first half. Caitlin to O'Grady. She will go to the free throw line. Right at the rim. And Caitlin Clark here on the pick and roll and finds Goodman with the piece. Iowa taking its time on this possession. And the clock has 26 points. She gets it down to O'Grady. Addison O'Grady. A falter. No good. And McMahon tries to make it a one-woman break. A little sloppy play right now. Iowa has consistently got back down the floor in this game and put themselves in position to get easy buckets. Not sure if there was a foul there on McMahon at the half court. Kaylin Clark understanding how she's growing the game. She talks about it all the time. Her popularity is through the roof and another shot to boot. Two things well defensively as well. Keeping in mind she had to step in and guard Caitlin Clark with all this foul trouble and got some momentum there. Plus the dunk down to Stolke. The reverse just off for Theory. Iowa has a chance to take the lead back. Caitlin Clark does. And turned over. You gotta be sure of your passes. Fake a pass to make a pass. Caitlin gets underneath, flips it up. Kaylin Clark gets by Theory, and again with that foul trouble, <laughs> just the reverse easily lays it up. So three-point game. A couple minutes have gone by in this overtime. Clark has gotten her way to the rim. Skip pass to Davis. Shot clock keeps ticking. Caitlin, 40 piece. <laughs> 